We had a key game in the Big South at Kimmel last night. Coastal Carolina and UNCA squaring off. The winner keeps within a couple of games of first place Charleston Southern. Dogs were ready to defend their home court. Home wins are huge down the stretch. They were ready for Coastal. Nice teamwork here in this tight game. Corey Littlejohn to DJ Cunningham cutting to the hoop and jamming. He scores seven. They're up four in the first half. Lead by one at the half. Second half, Coastal stays close in this tight ball game, but the dogs make the plays when they count. Keith Hornsby, watch the power drive. Good. UNCA up three. He had 13. Stays that way till very, very late. Shannon Clears have a chance to tie with less than five seconds to go. Kier Greenwood takes a three-point shot. No good. Jeremy Atkinson clears the board. Ball game. Anthony Raft to 27 for Coastal, but UNCA wins 63-60 at home Saturday at 2 against High Point. This was a huge win tonight. I mean, that was a big step for us. We were tied for second with them going into this game, you know, and uh, we needed to get this win so we wouldn't fall back any further behind uh, Charleston Southern. This is a big win tonight for us. We had a, a target on this game, um, so we knew if we won this game, it's a big confidence booster. Now prep poops. Traditional rivals in action, Asheville School hosting Christ School. Blues hoping to pull off the stunner. They had some great defense early. Naeem Swinton takes it all the way after the steal, puts it up, puts it in. He has 19, Asheville School down four at the end of the first. Greenies come up with their own plan, though. They say, let's get it to Allen Winuk. And watch him here. He gets the feed, makes a spin, a nice move down the baseline, puts it up and in. He leads everybody with 20 points. Then it's Jalen Allen with the steal here. He strips the... The man with the ball puts it in for two of his 13. Second half, it was all. Christ School, they roll to win it 102-62. They're now 6-0 in the conference. Some area prep teams getting ahead of the weather, moving games up, anticipating freezing rain on Friday, so let's play today. Mitchell and Owen moves to today. So do Mountain Heritage at Polk and Smoky Mountain at West Henderson. Tuscola at Brevard also moving on up. No word on any other games. Games that were played last night, Carolina Day girls beat East Rutherford. Now 16 and three are the Cougars, or the Wildcats rather, but Rachel Camp, 44 for East. A stunner in Marion, Irwin snaps McDowell's two-year MAC win streak, 59-54. McDowell boys stay perfect in the MAC with a win over Irwin. Six Titans in double figures, led by Josh Pyatt with 16. Wrestling, two MAC powers battling. It was Inca at Robertson, both perfect in league action. There will be a 3A and 4A champ, but this is for pride and the honor of calling yourself the real champ. Rams jump out to the early lead, 152-pound class. Robertson's Jonah Leertz on top of Inca Jesse McGuire. Watch the move and the power and the pit. Robertson takes the early lead, 9-0. Inca doesn't stay down on the mat long. Next up in the 160s, Jets' Nathan Saunders against Kyle Hulsing. And Saunders, the aggressor throughout this one, wins the decision to get the Jets back on track. The key 195-pound battle between all staters, Casey Hutchinson, he beats Robertson's outstanding Coburn Burroughs for the second time this year. Inca beats Robertson, this time 35-22. They stay perfect in the MAC. It's Robertson's first loss.